check the mic and make sure it sound right. Hi, I'm DK Will, and this is DK Will Talk About It. And I'm going to do a um, discussion on the three primary uh, nations that those who are a part of the Nairland, the Narland, have been interested in. And primarily, it all started with the Iraqi dinar for many people. Somehow it graduated to the Vietnamese Dong. And then, of course, there was the Zimbabwe Zim. Now, there are other currencies that people are invested in, bolivars and rials and all types of currencies, which kind of makes sense because we are talking about a global currency reset. However, I'm going to look at evidences out there, and you'll get a hint by the screen you're looking at, that show that those countries involved, Iraq, Vietnam, and Zimbabwe, despite any narratives that are given for the conditions in those countries, are becoming very healthy, very wealthy nations. And I'll expound on that more in harmony with my efforts to help the audience look at areas that are safe. And uh, keep in mind, number one, I'm not a financial advisor, but I do give discussions on finances. And I assure you that I practice what I preach. And so I've been trying to draw everyone's attention to some safe cryptos. I've been trying to draw everyone's attention to some safe precious metals, as the nations are doing. And just safe places to put your money. And I'll say again, those safe places may not be the exchanges while the dust settles. And so if you can find ways to uh, put your uh, cryptos on a hard wallet, if you can find ways to invest in something besides the banks, because the bank runs have begun, I'm sure those who watch my videos have seen evidences of bank runs, even in this country, you know, on Twitter and things like that, people are letting it out. Now, I'm not a big social media kind of guy, but I still come across things that confirm what I've been trying to say, but I'm not going to belabor the point. But I do want you to remember, as I move on in this discussion, don't forget the golden rule. Whoever has the goal makes the rules. Okay, so now we'll start with news, rumors, and opinions for Friday the 8th. That's today. And it's RV excerpts. And it says, uh, Judy note, don't stop believing. Where we go one, we go all. That sounds familiar. The best is yet to come. Today will be a new day. There were multiple, multiple sources who indicated Tier 4B could possibly be notified by Sunday, 10 July, or Monday, 11 July, and start foreign currency exchanges, Zim redemption, on Tuesday the 12th. Western Europe on suicide watch as food and energy collapse gets worse. Now, I've watched some videos from other YouTube um, content providers. And it's, it's, it's pitiful what they're keeping away from the American citizen, but the rest of the world is in chaos. They're just trying to keep it on the hush-hush. People are protesting. Uh, grocery shelves are empty, as you probably can see it's happening here as well. And um, things are going nuts. Okay, you have, uh, what was it, the guide stones were blown up. I did a video about the guide stones way in the past. Um, that was one item. And then uh, Johnson, the... Prime Minister Boris Johnson steps down, uh, probably a cabal effort to put an attack in the road. But a lot's going on, folks, and a lot is going on because of this reason right here. A global currency reset. It does say, speaking of Iraq, in our first, over the weekend, the Iraqi government was officially seated, and the Iraqi dinar was put on a platform that connected to the quantum financial system. Okay, so, <clears throat> pause. The Iraqi dinar was put on a platform that connected to the quantum financial system. There's a lot of old timers out there that, you know, they give all their reasons about the Iraqi government needing to be seated and this and that and near and fear and everything else. But who really in the past ever considered this connected to the quantum financial system? Folks, things are happening. Different than expected, but they're certainly happening. And if you mess with the money, They'll bring out the tanks. So this war is going on to try to prevent too many tanks from coming out. Okay, it says back on Sunday, 26th of June, the dinar began trading on Forex back screen starting at 28 cents. 
was quickly going up in value to eventually reach a possible $17 by the time the GCR was official. Um, Shabibi said that it could sustain $17 years ago. So that's not unheard of, folks. It's a figure. And Bruce had talked about the back screens. Of course, you have to be a Forex trader. And I think it went from like 56 cents to 560 or something like that. It's in one of my videos. But apparently things are happening and they're giving dates and times. I will say what I always say. Stay grounded. How many times has a date been given and nothing happened? Now, let me qualify that. I believe things are happening. Bogey wants to talk about it too. I do think, when I say nothing happened, I believe things are happening. But it's most certainly a need to know basis. It goes on to say that since 3 July, 140 countries have been trading their gold asset back currencies on the market. Now, as this video goes on, I'm going to try to hurry up now, though, because it's taking longer than I want it. We'll see that that is just a reality, people. That's just a reality. So if, if you had trouble accepting that, you need to accept it. And when I, when I make it to Zimbabwe, we'll see that. Moving on. We know that the Fed lost its chart of the print, the print money. At least that's what's going through the circulation of news after their t their extension ended on July 4th. There's this predicted stock market crash. And we've already talked about crashes. But, you know, if you're still in that market and not putting your money in safe places, that's on you. But I'm giving you safe places, folks. At least places I believe are safe. Um... It's up to you if you want to do it. It says here, a very valid tier three source confirmed that at least two bondholders have been notified they would be paid out in full from Friday 8 July through Monday 11 July. And that at least some of that money would be paid directly from the Rodriguez Trust. I don't know anything about the trust or anything, but that's a blanket dogmatic statement. We, I don't know if it's true or not, but it suggests things are happening. It goes on to say that on Tuesday, June 28th, Russia announced the BRICS countries were establishing a global currency reset. It's happening, folks. Under the guise of all types of narratives and rumors, what really matters? What really matters? It's happening. It's happening. Then we have some Bruce intel. Um, it says here, Iraq has been connected to the QFS since Wednesday, 6 July. What's up here? Uh, over the weekend, Iraq was officially seated and put on the platform. What was the weekend? Uh, the weekend was 2 and 3 of July. So there's a little conflict there, but that's okay. The new dinar international rate will be posted in their gazette this Saturday, 9 July. Well, they get there before us. That'll be easy to check. Bondholders will have liquidity by Friday. Redemption Center staff will go in Friday and Saturday. There was word that the funds will be moving Saturday, 10 July, and access the funds on Monday and Tuesday, 11 and 12. There are 130 countries now have asset-backed currency, including the 12 BRICS nations. 12 BRICS nations? There was five. Like I mentioned, all the collateral nations will be joining too. And it's all just a, it's all just a storyline, folks. It's happening. The big boy, which is the United States economy, is either going to be destroyed or it's going to wait for everyone to get on board with their goalies and then they're going to join too. That nuclear bomb, I think, has as much to do with the quantum financial system and XRP Ripple as anything else along with other platforms, which I do not hesitate to speak on. The deep state was creating another virus to release on the world this fall. The bioweapons lab was found in Mozambique, Africa, and was destroyed by the White Hats four days ago. So that sounds like they put a stop to it. Although I saw a video where a man was announcing somewhere over in England that the 15th would be a new pandemic. Uh, that's not too far, it's a week away. We'll see if it happens. And 80% of private and commercial flights in the U.S. have been grounded. The reason to prevent deep state from traveling. They made those arrests. That's something I could check into and find out if it's true. And I did do a very quick and brief search to check on the veracity of the um, cancellation of flights. When flights been grounded, apparently that is something that is newsworthy. Um, we see here that the Scandinavian airline has canceled almost 70% uh, of the flights on Friday. And as we look more and more at some of the uh, headline stories, we see hundreds of U.S. flights were canceled and delayed amid the 4th of July travel chaos. Keep it in mind, they give you reasons and narratives. What matters? Yes. Um, yeah, flights were certainly canceled. 
And then we have summer travel. Which one? Which airlines have canceled flights? All you need to know. This is a recent article from the eighth, which is today. And we can see that Lufthansa, Europe, German Airlines, Scandinavian, British Airways. So, is there some truth to this cancellation talk? Yes, there is. How about Vietnam and the dollar? Well. It says global manufacturers gradually focus on Vietnam. Apple has moved 11 factories of Taiwanese enterprises and its supply chain to Vietnam. Many other foreign firms are also expanding their production facilities in Vietnam. Samsung built its largest research and development center in South Asia worth $220 million in Hanoi. And is also planning to continue to expand factories in the northern province of Bac Ni and Tai Nguyen. <laughs> How's that for Vietnamese? Somebody Vietnamese, tell me how it did in the comments, if you don't mind. Um, but as we can see, Vietnam is becoming very financially sound. So it's not a far stretch for their money to be very financially sound. International organization held Vietnam's economic achievement. HSB has raised its forecasts of economic growth to 6.9% from a previous 6.6%. says here, thanks to the widespread recovery, the company recorded an impressive GDP growth rate of 7.7% in the second quarter compared to the same period last year. Vietnam's inflation is forecast to stand at 3.5% this year, but it may surpass the ceiling of 4%. 3.5 compared to the 10s and 20s everywhere else. That's pretty good, folks. But, uh, you know, it's a global shortage. But the point I'm making here is as we look at the Vietnam economy, for those who hold the Vietnamese dong, and I know there's many naysayers out there who say, how can you do this? How can they support this? And how can they support that? Well, when I make it to Zimbabwe, for the Zim, if you can't see support and what I'm about to share on that respect, then you can't see. I mean, I don't know any better way to say it. I ain't trying to hate on nobody because I don't hate on nobody. But I'm telling you, uh, you can't see. All right. It says here, Vietnam will do well economically this year and the next. Okay. So everyone has very positive outlooks and results and analysis on Vietnam, which is the place for the dog. Now imagine a global currency reset. Imagine gold and asset backed money. And part of that gold and asset backed money is the strength of your economy and intellectual property, just like the promise of fiat on the US. But in this, it's real tangible terms. And so Vietnam has a very strong economy with very strong economic growth and very good production with a very great international market. And so, therefore, it makes sense that they should have a very strong currency. Does it not? Now, let's talk about Zimbabwe. Okay, so this is the spin they put. Inflation is so bad in Zimbabwe that the country is now issuing gold coins to its citizens. This is Wednesday, July 6th. Now, before I read and pull information out of this article, I want you, please, just to think for a minute. Okay. Yeah, I'm Dennis. D.K. Will is Dennis. Okay. My budget is so bad in my household that I went and I bought a bunch of porterhouse New York strip filet mignon steaks and I invited my neighbors over and started giving them steaks because my my household inflation is so bad does that make any sense inflation is so bad we're going to give you gold no if you can issue gold which is international money with an international price, although it's rigged and, and set, and um, what's the word, Compre uh, suppressed. 
if you can issue gold to your citizens, no matter what narrative Yahoo Finance puts on its headlines, you're a rich nation. Because I read in, in the past, and I'm not going to be able to prove it on this video, you have to take my word for it, I don't lie to you, and if I lie, I'll fix it because I don't lie on purpose, I can be mistaken, but I'm, I, I'm certain I remember when I first brought out this information about Zimbabwe issuing gold to its citizens, that it said it was like 80 or 90 percent, 22, 22 karat gold, and I read somewhere else where it had been calculated that those coins, I mean, if you would hold a coin with 22 karat gold in it, 80, 90 percent of um, purity, that you're holding like two or three thousand dollars in a coin. So, uh, you know, the stakes that I gave out don't match up to it, but do you see where it doesn't make sense? So when we read this information, please read it with some... Um, scrutiny and common sense you don't give away gold when you're broke so is, is Zimbabwe healthy financially of course they are it says here as global inflation waves continue to send costs soaring for everywhere everything from fuel to groceries some governments are getting creative and reining in the prices that's a narrative the governments are not getting creative and reining in the prices, folks. The governments are making adjustments to a new global currency reset system based on the quantum financial system and gold and asset-backed money. And they're giving a bunch of narratives to say why it's happening. Russia went to gold because of the war and they need to find a way to make their money. They still went to gold. BRICS nations go to gold, and I did a video and went through each of the top five BRICS nations to show they, they all went to gold, up to and including their digital money. They all went to gold. Everyone's going to gold, despite the narratives. I would love to go to gold. I'll give you every piece of paper dollar I got if you give me gold for it. And that's the reason I highlighted Glint before. Because you can actually buy your gold, get a MasterCard, and spend it. That's the place to go with your money, but let's get back on track. It says the gold coins will be introduced as a store of value. And then Zimbabweans can exchange them in the future without worrying about the coins deteriorating in value. Those coins are not going to deteriorate in value like the Zimbabwe dollar, which is a fiat currency. They are going to exponentially grow in value because the price of gold is going to grow. And I'm going to stay on that and put my neck out there, people. I haven't been expecting five and $10,000 gold now forever, and I don't think it's going to stop there. I don't think it's going to stop there, but I do think that's coming. So if you own an ounce of gold for 2000 today and it turns into 5000 tomorrow, aren't you a richer person? Aren't you a wealthier person? Aren't you a better off person? Because you have something tangible in gold and not something fiat that's created on a computer and doesn't have any value, really, whatsoever, other than what people say it does. So is Zimbabwe wealthy? Well, if you can give gold coins to your uh, citizens, if you can give gold coins to 15 million people, um, you must be doing pretty well. You must be able to handle the exchange rate of your Zimbabwe bonds. That's just putting my neck out there. Because, see, I'm not alone. This person here says hold gold as governments have scandalously mistreated their currencies. Folks, it's supply and demand. There's been more money put out there in the last couple of years of this COVID thing than has been put out in the te decades preceding it. Okay? And so when there's more of something, it's worth less, no matter what they say. They're trying to say that gold is uh, not gold. The dollar is going up in value. No, the dollar is shrinking in value despite what they say, because every time another another nation turns to gold as their money, a dollar becomes far less important because, see, gold leaves are worth far more than maple leaves. So let's not forget the golden rule, folks, that the, whoever has the gold makes the rules, and apparently Zimbabwe has the gold. Now, we also know that Russia has the gold. They're trying to shut them down because Russia is destroying the dollar. The BRICS nations are destroying the dollar. So what should we do? Use real gold as everyday, instant, secure, and reliable money. I don't get paid for this. I, I wish I I wish they did let me get sponsored by them and every click did something for me, but it doesn't. 
but it will do something for you. And so I'm encouraging as many people as I can, and, I, and it's nothing new, folks. I have a group of people, we all bought physical gold and silver years ago, and we still hold it, getting ready for this. This is even better, because somebody else holds it for you, and you can spend it fractionally with a debit card by MasterCard. That's a very, very safe place to put your money. So as the governments run to gold, you probably should follow them. I'm DK Wood. This is DK Wood talking about it. And I talked about it. Have a wonderful day. Check the mic and make sure it sound right.